My name is Kelly. The most connected I feel to God at Chapel of the Cross is the front desk. My one word to describe Chapel of the Cross is home. children. Uh, knowing that this is a place, whether it's at EYC or Sunday school, in the service, uh, even our youngest at the preschool, uh, it just feels like it's very open. That there, This is a place where they can grow, uh, be nurtured, uh, uh, really fit in again as a family. Um, our family, but this bigger family. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. It just feels like the right thing. Um, there's so much that we're given here at this community that it feels only appropriate to uh, do whatever we can to support, support the team. There's so many things where you start. Um, you know, Chapel Cross has been through some enormous changes from rector and music director and people retiring and leaving and so um, Elizabeth Marie has been a true force of nature or maybe I should say she is a true force of nature and she has gathered around her and I'm sure if she were here she would say with the festery and with the support of all of our parishioners um, but there's so much energy in the church right now I mean, at the Martin Luther King Day, events day, you couldn't get in the front. I mean, people were running around doing hundreds of things and excited and, and, there's, and the little kids, they're everywhere. And they're doing so much. They're in the choir. They're running up and down. They're, it's, um, I just, wherever we're going, it's a good place. And I have to mention our presiding bishop when he talks. Uh, following the path of Jesus and following the path of love. I think that is the message that we're all hearing, and that's what we're uh, My husband and I have both been on vestry. Uh, in fact, the third year I was on vestry, I was the junior warden, and my husband, Alan, uh, was elected to the vestry that year. So even though there are lots of, of married pairs in this church who have both been on vestry, we were told that we were the first that had been on vestry at the same time. Um, and he, Alan's back on vestry now, and he's been on buildings and grounds. Um, like I said, I, I've chaired the Environmental Stewardship Committee for a lot of years, and which is now Creation Care. Um, I volunteer at the um, Interfaith Council men's, well it's not men's, it's everybody, for their dinner one, our church does one night um, a month, and so we do that, uh, caroling to, in the Christmas time, singing carols to our parishioners that are in nursing homes or at home, uh, which is always fun because the kids do that too. So singing our Christmas songs with all those little voices and little voices. Um, participated in our um, intergenerational events, which are always uh, touching and moving, uh, embracing. And I think there's more, but I think that's all I can think of right now. We always have, and we believe that is part of our responsibility as Christians and supporting our church. Um, and every year we try to get more because 
<laughs> because the church is doing so many wonderful things that you want to support it. Um, and it's just a part of our lives. And I remember, you know, the annual campaigns are always an interesting thing when they come around. Um, and one of the stories that I heard was um, one of our parishioners who said, you know, I grew up, my parents said they would give us a, um, some money and they would say, um, you keep a third, you spend a third, you give a third away. And so that is just, um, I think it's very important that we support. favorite memory from Chapel of the Cross is, believe it or not, going to Juarez, Mexico in the heat of summer, over 110 degrees most days, with the youth group, uh, about a dozen teenagers. Every day we worked hard, we were miserably hot, dirty, tired, but at the end of the time that we were there, I remember these young kids, one of them said, I don't know how these local people can live here and the other one said I would like to be like them.